this is only a vlog where I want to tell something about the principles of a classical old school analog super heater radio and also about how to say beep true beep true and then I mean send a signal of four five five kilo cycles through an IF amplifier and test it. This is by the way all completely classical and it's only a vlog and when you are interested in my circuits uh, go to the looking glass on my YouTube channel Radio Fun 232 on YouTube type there words like uh, radio superheterodyne oscillator etc etc the words that you need to get to all the videos that I've made in the past about superhead radios say the classical uh, five stage superheterodyne radio many circuits are on my youtube channel for shortwave etc etc but uh, the other thing is here that I wanted to make a superhead for long wave say between 160 kilohertz and approximately say 400 kilohertz or so this was a project that I started approximately one year ago and up until now it did not succeed but, but uh, anyway I tested it uh, today and the whole idea is was good the local oscillator is here it worked properly here is the IF amplifier here is the first state say the front end made with a field effect transistor uh, I cannot show it in a working um, stage because it simply didn't work though the whole setup was okay uh, my idea was to make an oscillator, local oscillator, with which I could mix the uh, input radio station, say between uh, 160 kilohertz and 300 kilohertz down to or up, that's what I wanted, and that's also the problem, up to uh, up mixing. To 455 kilo cycles and it did not succeed but uh, when you want to go when you, when you want to make a properly working long wave radio in a simple way and then I mean a TRF radio go to the channel of Ingus Silinch he has many many good working long wave radio stations also, uh, not radio stations, uh, radio receivers and also VLF receivers. And they are very interesting. They are, as far as I know, TRF. This is a super head, so we need a local oscillator. We need a mixer. The mixer transistor is here. The mixer transistor must say convert all the uh, frequencies received in the front end here to the 455 kilo cycles intermediate wave amplifier and that's here you see quite a lot of 455 crystals here there is a video on my youtube channel where i have explained this if amplifier and it works very properly uh, very strange that i could not get that long wave radio properly working but could also have to do a, a lot with the uh, say the f uh, the front end here and I have also published a few weeks ago or so this thing and this is in fact a front end for long wave with this coil by the way anyway um, perhaps I'm gonna combine this front end with this front end so a lot to do uh, many experiments to do and this is only a vlog say a first ID 
here is the audio and amplifier power supplies very simple and here is the IF oscillator and that's perhaps interesting to show this IF oscillator it's also on my YouTube channel can be tuned for all kinds of frequencies it even goes to approximately 12 megahertz or 10 megahertz or so and now it is set to a function where it sends out 455 kilo cycles so exactly say the frequency of my uh, IF intermediate frequency amplifier that's here 455 and well and you can see that it sends out a sine wave that sine wave is normally when you want to test an, an uh, IF amplifier on 455 kilocycles uh, you must send of course the output of this oscillator here this oscillator to your IF amplifier to test it and of course the second stage is that it must say detect the AM audio uh, modulated radio signals that's done here with this uh, germanium diode and its filter again everything is in earlier videos on my youtube channel anyway and when you study on the world wide web you you can also find this whole setup this classical setup uh, with four five five kilo cycles uh, I have filters with a bandwidth in the order of 8 kilohertz anyway and here the germanium diode detector anyway well interesting perhaps is to show how it all works and this is that oscillator and here it sent out its wave now on 446 kilo cycles but let's uh, say put the radio on you hear that radio and this is the modulation it's amplitude modulated here you can see that here it's amplitude modulated with a square wave that's also directly clear to see and uh, it can be modulated with two different frequencies that's also clear to see here now you hear that beep and the good thing of it all is that this oscillator strays so fierce out that the radio can receive it you hear that beep here now it oscillates by the way the so here, here you hear that beep now I'm gonna turn here the output frequency of the oscillator so I even don't have to connect here a uh, say a wire a wire between the test oscillator and the IF amplifier it strays out naturally on that 455 frequency and you can surely hear it when I turn here the oscillator to that frequency band to that specific frequency so you can surely see that here on 455 approximately Four, five, seven. By the way, anyway, this is the amplitude modulated signal. It strays out so fierce that my IF amplifier here, with, without any connection here between the oscillator and the radio, picks up that uh, frequency, and it shows also that the say the IF amplifier is healthy it detects in a proper way AM signals so now it's 10 minutes on my uh, 
on my camera. Thanks for watching. And also here, this is the uh, local oscillator. You can sometimes hear that blurb sound. Well, that is in fact nothing to do with what I'm talking of, talking on. Um, testing the IF amplifier. Uh, I could, of course, make a physical connection between the IF amplifier and the test oscillator here. You can do that, do that often with a capacitor of a very small value, say 10 picofarad or so. And of course, in such a case, you will get a much more fierce signal out of the oscillator straight into the IF amplifier. So, could be uh, that it works better when you want to do these tests. Anyway, let's look and listen again. Tuning to 455 is the ID. Now we hear nothing because uh, it's out of the bandwidth of the IF amplifier. Now I slowly move to the, to the say 8 kilohertz wide And what you see here, four, five, seven kilo cycles, it can have to do with all kinds of, say, other things, stray capacitance, etc., etc. But the most important thing is that it works, and you can hear that it works. Thanks for watching. And again, much more in other old and very old videos on my YouTube channel.